What is up, everybody? This is FNH here with a brand new video to talk about how you can basically play with your PlayStation 4 controller or DualShock 4 controller on your Windows PC device. So let's get right into it. And I'm going to show you some testing as well on to show you that it does work. So we're going to be using this software called DS4 Windows. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. You just download it and install it. It's like the easiest way to... It's extremely simple and clean and efficient. You don't have to go anything crazy with it. So once you have it installed, uh, as you can see, I have the profile open already and the phone uh, my controller is not connected essentially just connect it <laughs> you connect it with just your regular you can just take the wire that you charge your controller from from the ps4 or if you have a spare one just put it in as you can see it shows on the screen already that it connected and again nothing crazy this is through a wired method there is through a bluetooth method and there's another method with the actual uh usb port itself like uh playstation offers it i don't know if it's like sony itself offers it for like 40 or 50 bucks it's kind of pricey you're better off doing the wires cheap it's free if anything and just going from there so once you're in here you can set up the profile it tells you like if you want to do the like swipe to so essentially i can swipe the touchpad and the mouse moves as you can see there's a few other things you can do um and again there's the log as well I usually just have the default profile set up. I don't do anything crazy. Again, it's completely up to you on how you want to do it. And essentially, majority, if not all, of the controllers work. Certain types of games, it may not work. What I mean by that is like, you may have to set up, let's say there's a specific emulator for Game Boy that you have on your computer. It may not work with that. You may have to like tweak the settings up in the emulator itself to make it work. So here, I'm gonna show you one of the emulators. But not an emulator, it's the game itself. It's a Super Metroid remake. Um, that someone made it's called another Metroid 2 remake it says the controllers recommended as you can see it's working well with the controller so just to show you I'm not touching the keyboard or anything it works and then the controllers work you just got to figure out what to do and how to make it work essentially uh, another example I was gonna show you I have a ps2 emulator set up right here and just gonna play it sure just to show you real quickly like it's gonna it's gonna be loud but just to show you like it's working so look, as you can see, the PlayStation turns on. I, I'm skipping everything else. And the game, oh, well, actually, I think the volume's off, so you might not hear it. So as you can see, like, oh, sorry. Because, yeah, not everything works. Again, because, like, I don't know if this works in the PS2. Because this is a PS2 game. But you can see uh, me pressing the controllers, like, vibration. Do I want on, off? And it, it actually vibrated the controller itself. Blocking, assisted, skilled. You can change all those different settings, and it works. Like, triangle was back instead of circle. It's just more of like, I guess, how the game was made. And you, again, you can tweak the stuff within the settings itself, but these things do work. And yeah, just wanted to show you guys that this does end up working. Again, you can edit it, you can show it over here. If you move it around, I believe it's well, it's not doing it right now. I forgot how it worked. Yeah, so it's the touch because it calls it an Xbox controller as well, so it's a little weird. But yeah, again, I usually don't mess with the settings as much because, again, usually they work anyways. So to me, I'm like, whatever. But yeah, like I said, you can tweak it over here. You can say what it... Oh, yeah, because you can switch it to a Xbox controller configuration as well because I think that's what it kind of does. Again, mine's on default. I keep it on default. I'm perfectly fine with it being on default. So, <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, my lights are on. As you can see, you can change the color of the lights as well, which is pretty cool. That's what I, li I like that feature about this one. So let's see if I can do that. Is it going to change to red? Ah, uh, it didn't do it right now. Maybe later. Uh, maybe after I save it. But anyways, it's, um, so I did testing Revel. Ooh, you can see it's vibrating like crazy. Uh, stop the testing. Anyways, yeah, <laughs> you can, um, obviously, like I said, test it out with this as well and go from here. Again, it works on Steam for sure. Uh, as long as you have it plugged in and you, you don't, you don't even need this. You can just plug it in and it'll work on Steam. This is to make it more work on other emulators and whatnot. So yeah, that was the tutorial for this one, just to show you guys. It's an extremely simple software. This is what your PS4 controller. If you had an Xbox controller, I think if, it has, if your computer has Bluetooth, you just plug it, it works on almost everything. If not, same thing with the wire, it'll work. Xbox is obviously, Microsoft is significantly more compatible. Next video, I'll make for Nintendo Switch to show you if that can or can't be done on the Windows. You might want to do it for Nintendo 64 games or something else, or like a Game Boy game or something. Completely up to your GameCube or whatnot. So we'll definitely go from there on that when that time comes in. But yeah, overall, um, I do go hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful and informative. If you did, overall, uh, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell if you're new. If you like the video, give smash the like button. It helps a lot. And any comments, questions, concerns, or if you want me to do something else, let me know in the comment section below. 
on that, I finish out. Peace.